Hello friends, so we are going to start a new topic called as Ratio Analysis. Now in this module, we are going to study Introduction to Ratio Analysis. Let's start. Suppose I start my own company, I want to start my own company. I approach you and ask for funds. I go funds stay. Please invest in my company. Will you blindly invest? Will you look at my face and take a decision? Mira chera dekhe bolo ke okay lelo paisa. Of course not. You would want to have some queries answered. Now you would want to analyze certain aspects. You would want to ask me few questions. Now. What are the questions you would want to ask me? Some questions are like, how much return on investment? What is the liquidity position? How risky is the company? What is the status of debtors and creditors? All these different questions you would want to ask. Now, can I say that from where will you get answers to all these questions? The answers lie in the financial statements of the company. So, you would want to see my company's financial statements. So, now please pay attention. So, that means to analyze companies, you need access to their financial statements. Do you think we need to go around asking companies for their financials? Of course not. We get their data on their official website. As I told you in the introduction to FM, we generally focus on public limited companies. And it is mandatory for public companies to publish their accounts. So now, our first step in deciding investments in a company is to gather financial statements. Next step is to analyze them. But how to analyze these statements? How to answer questions using these financial statements? For the same, there are certain tools to be applied. Ye analysis karne ke liye, there are certain tools to be applied. These tools are called as ratios, which are to be applied on financial statements to analyze them. Analysis of companies' financial statements using ratios is called as ratio analysis. Matlab basically, in chapter, mein, we are going to analyze companies' financial statements with the help of certain tools called as ratios and this analysis is called as ratio analysis. Now, what was step one? Step one was gathering financial statements. So now let's just focus on balance sheet. Balance sheet is one of the most important aspect of financial statement. Let's focus on balance sheet. To analyze a balance sheet better, it should be in a vertical form. So sometimes a horizontal balance sheet may be given to you in the exam and you would be asked to convert it first into a vertical form before analyzing. So we first learn conversion of a balance sheet from horizontal to vertical. Now please understand this vertical format we will learn for analysis purpose is not strictly as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act. Why sir, why is it not strictly as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act? Because here the goal of making a vertical balance sheet is not reporting. The goal here is for personal analysis. So therefore the form need not be strictly as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act. Thank you.